Hi hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. Today I'm making a new bath bomb. Um, it's, a, it's very very similar to Ava Bath The Smell which is basically um, Mei Chang uh, essential oil. Uh, it's Chinese lemongrass, it smells amazing. Some people don't like it, some people think it's stinky. Um, but I really like it, I love it. Uh, it's really fresh and really nice for spring. So I've the recipe is in the description box below and you can half that or quarter it or whatever you want to do to uh, make it smaller. Of course you can double it if you want to make it bigger. Um, this will make at least 15 200 gram bath bombs. Um, so I've split the mixture up into three. I've put four of these. This is a table serving spoon. I've put put four heaped tablespoons in there and four heaped in here. The rest of the batch is in here and I've used um, the mica that I've used is yellow240y and it's from mineralmakeupingredients.co.uk I'll put the link down below. Their fluorescence or neons are so bright, the brightest I've come across um, so I'm really really happy with those and then in here I've got some green pigment which is made with um, yellow pigment and blue pigment mixed together actually it's made with um, it's apple it's used it's grace root colors um, and it's one part green to two parts yellow of their colors now I'll look those up and I'll write them Put the link in the description box below it does make a nice lime green now you can see there's still some yellow in there so i'm hoping it'll make them a little bit brighter and i'm gonna put my um witch hazel into them now In the white, I'm just going to put three, maybe four squirts in. One, two, three, four. In the green, I'm not going to put any because that liquid pigment there has already got water in it and it'll make it far too watery and too wet and it'll make your bath bomb crack if your mixture is too wet. And in here, I'm going to do 12 sprays. Have I put too many? I've put ten. Um, usually I would put... I'll just put eleven in. So we'll give those a mix. I've made in the past until I got I mean I still don't really know what I'm doing with bath bombs I could definitely be better uh, but a mistake I used to make was um, using packing half of the mixture and then spraying more water on but you don't shouldn't be doing that because all your bath bombs will be different and then some will have too much liquid <laughs>
as you can see um, it's made a lovely vibrant green compared to the yellow and yeah the yellow is fluorescent but it doesn't show up too fluorescent in a bath bomb uh, but it does in soap right so let's start I've mixed up some sprinkles here we're going to put some sugar sprinkles in the top I just found these in home bargains of course they weren't in a container like this but home bargains had these the other day and um, they're probably all stocked from somewhere else um, but still fresh as a daisy so we're going to use that I'm sure if you've noticed by now I like to use a trim to pop the bath bombs in. So we're going to start off with the white colour. And I'm just using a smaller spoon. We'll take one. Lid. Just pop some sprinkles in. Press them down with your finger and then just put some white in there. Now I'm going to show you a technique I did with the rose bath bombs. Um, shall I? We, we, we use pink. We can use pink instead of gold. So go around the outside with the glitter. Just round the outside. You don't need to put it in the middle. Just press it down slightly to keep all your sprinkles in place and then we're just going to sprinkle some green on there and then I'm going to press that down harder and then with the yellow because we've got that pressed into place now I'm just we're just pop it together like that. Don't squeeze too hard, just do it gently. Don't overpack your bath bombs. Definitely one of the biggest mistakes you can make, I think. You don't want to underfill them either. And if you want a sneak peek at what they're going to look like, there we are. You see the lovely pink line it makes around? So easy. So easy. So pretty. You can just do this with your fingers if you want to, but I like to do it with a spoon. I'm giving it a tap, just knocks all the loose powder off and also knocks off the um or loosens it from the bath bomb mould.
just that bit of glitter around there just gives it a crystally type look which is really in at the moment So it smells like have a bath, but it doesn't uh, look like have a bath. might want a closer look at what I'm doing so I'll just zoom in there and try and do everything so you can see We've made nine so far. definitely spring now I'm loving it it hasn't really doesn't seem to have taken that long to get from miserable winter to spring obviously the weather won't stay like this but I haven't seen any snowdrops or daffodils poking through yet but obviously all that snow will have made sure with it they don't pop the heads through yet. 
not that I'm a gardener or anything, I don't know anything about plants. I wish I did, but something I'll probably take an interest in when I retire. If I retire, I can't see myself stopping making soap, to be honest. As long as people want it, I'll be here to make it. And I, I really would rather just teach, you know, not from home specifically, but I'd rather just you do the YouTube videos than actually make soap to sell. I just think there'd be less less pressure if we did that. I've actually not calculated very well the splitting up of the ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that green in there. And continue with the white on this side. seems far too much white as well to be honest but we can still use it all up but I'll know better next time I make them I've actually got the window open and, and I shouldn't have, I would call that a no-no as well because it dries all of the, um, it drives all the liquid off the mixture. It hasn't yet. very keen on that you know the coloured sugar I'm not into that at all I like the sprinkles and the shapes but definitely not into the sugar it just doesn't have a lot of effect or contrast or anything so once this is gone I don't think I'll use that again They've actually got little bunny heads in there. I mean, they're so cute. So 12, 13, 14, 15. That's about right. I mean, usually I can make 18 out of this batch and this batch would definitely make 18 but it's not going to make 18 identical ones because I've made far too much white now that doesn't matter because I can pop that in there so I've just mixed it all in together and then these ones we can use or I might put them in an order for someone who buys a lot or, or if they break I can give those to people that place orders online because with every order you place you get something free I'm not saying you get loads and loads free, but I always put something in, except for wholesale. Obviously, because you're getting everything at half price when you buy wholesale, more or less anyway. 
Now this that I've got left on the bottom, I've got some small moulds and I always um, use these to use up the excess. I'm just going to give those a wipe. Put a little bit of pink glitter in there and squeeze it down with my thumb. And then fill those as well. And give those a tap. Can you see that? I'll just give those a tap. It sounds really loud on the screen but it's not I'm not doing it hard and that just again it just loosens it unmold these straight away if you want to. Maybe not. No. Right. All you need to do, if that happens, is just do this and start again. It's probably because the wind's blowing. Oh, they're too damp. But they're not that damp that they'll spoil. to have lost some of those. So that's that for now. That's the bath bombs made up. This is what we've got left and I'll use that up with these small um, moulds and we'll be back to one more of these bath bombs. Hope you enjoyed that. All the information is in the description box below. Please subscribe and like. I never ask people to do that. Please subscribe and like and check out our other pages especially Instagram um, I'm trying to be more active on there now please follow us there and of course there's Facebook, Pinterest there's also Twitter but I'm not very good at doing Twitter um, YouTube's my favourite as you know right back in a sec Okay, here we are, ready to unmold. I didn't put any elastic bands on this time, and it's worked fine. Looks like they're going to unmold pretty easy. Now, this is um, one of the last ones I made. Smells divine if you like lemon. Let's see if it will just twist off. No, nope, I need to tap. obviously you do lose some of your sprinkles especially when you tap And 
this is one that uh, we hardly had any green left in so it could have been the last one I made you see again those um, it's the sugar the sugar so I'm not going to use the sugar anymore probably good if you're going to do um, geode bath bombs it would work pretty well if you wanted to do those I think we'll have a go at those because they are absolutely my favourite I love them but I haven't had a go at making them yet So the 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 bunnies and that are not showing up very well either. But they're unmolding nicely now. And they do look lovely all together, don't they? Just perfect for spring. Use me hands, can I? Beautiful. Love it when they are more like that. And this one just twist off. Nope. It might sound loud, the tap, but it really isn't heavy at all. I think it's going to make a nice photograph. Hopefully the customer will like it. This was a special request by a customer for this fragrance. Obviously, I had to come up with a look for them. So that's them. We've got 16, 17 out of that batch. And we could have got at least one more, possibly even two, if, if I hadn't got the colour quantities so out of sync. Um... But what I'll do in the description is I think I'll half it and quarter it for you. Um, and then it makes life easier for anybody, especially if you're a beginner. If you're advanced, then you don't need my information. Um, so there you go. And they'll be available online very, very soon. I'm off to the hospital this morning because I think I told you about my ear well I'm still having problems with it um, still matter coming out of it you don't want to know all the gory details but it's still infected basically so that has been since January the 1st and it's now March the 16th so um, I'm sure it will get fixed but um, I don't know when. I don't know when. Right. I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you for another video coming up shortly. Bye-bye for now.